What's going on everybody? Mike here, AX Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another video on our 2024 Integra Type S. And this video is what you guys have been asking for. We are getting some performance goodies from both PRL and two-step performance. So let's take a quick look and see what we got. All right, so here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. We're gonna start modding the um, DE5 over here, the new Type S. We already got our wheels and suspension on it. Now it's time for some of the fast stuff, or I should say performance stuff. Um, we're gonna start off with what we've come to know and love here is the uh, Billet PRL intercooler for maximum cooling efficiency. These things are awesome. CNC intakes, all made in-house this big fat core on it this thing's awesome keeps those air intake temps nice and cool then we also have that coupled with the prl um, inlet into the turbo this is a titanium piece with their new designed for better flow inlet that bolts straight to the turbo and all of the corresponding couplers and clamps that go with it these are the gaskets and hardware that come with the prl front pipe beautiful front pipe we've used them a bunch of times fitments always on point really nice flanges beautiful welds nice little touch on their brackets here nice flex pipe they always work out great for us and we have a product from a company we haven't worked with before um, it's from two-step performance and this is their catted down pipe very nice setup um, they say it can handle up a thousand horsepower. Mike's never going to get close to that, but I think, you know, it's good to know that if we did, we could. So this thing's very nice and it's also ceramic coated or I think that's what it's called, right? Ceramic coat. Um, or yeah, something like that, but it's, it's heat treated with the silver paint so that the finish won't come off of it and it will retain heat. It also has placement for, um, the factory heat shields to go on it. And that comes with the O2 sensor extension because it relocates this O2 sensor and a bung to plug this off for different models. Um, this is our first step in mods for this. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how we put them on the car and how they look and how everything goes. I'm really excited about this stuff. I only wish this was my type S. It's not, I have the A-spec, but you know, it's all right. Maybe I'll get to drive it. We got the car here, we got the goodies over there. We're gonna start with getting the front bumper off of this, getting the down pipe off, and some of the intake piping so that we can start doing it. And it'll show you how everything works on here. This thing is very similar underneath the skin of the bumpers and bodywork to the FL5, and it's gonna be really simple for you guys. You can definitely do this on your own or you bring it to a shop, but we're gonna start by taking the car apart. We're gonna start with the front bumper.
All right, guys, so we got the front bumper out of the way. Next up, we go ahead and remove the turbo inlet pipe right over here. Then we move on to the down pipe. Then it get the car back up and remove the front pipe underneath the car. And we got a stock down pipe and a front pipe out of the way before we put the two-step performance down pipe back in the car. They also sent us a set of titanium hardware because some of you guys know these OEM hardware, they tend to seize up quite a bit, but with the titanium hardware, we're not gonna have that problem.
All right, guys, so we got the stock in cooler out of the way, and right over here on the bench, we have the PRL unit, and we went ahead off camera, uh, spray painted with the stencil. Got a nice PRL logo right on there. Next up, uh, TJ's getting ready. I don't know where he's going, but uh, and we gotta go ahead and uh, mount up the inner cooler. Then we can finish up the intake uh, titanium inlet pipe. Uh, before that, let's go ahead and uh, swap over the gasket, and we can go ahead and get this mount up here. All right guys, so the intercooler is all done along with the bumper is back on the car. Next up, we got the titanium turbo inlet pipe. Now, we'll go ahead and stop building from the side and work the way in. Uh, so this is the side pipe that go right over here. And then the titanium pipe would go right here. And then we have some of the coupling that would attach to the stock intake. All right, guys, so we got everything put back together. Let's go ahead and do a quick startup. What do you think, TJ? Oh, I think it's gonna sound awesome with that fresh downpipe on there.
All right, guys. So now the car is nice and warms up, and uh, so far it's a lot more noticeable with the exhaust notes. All right, so uh, jump on the passenger seat. I got uh, TJ on the driver's seat. Go ahead, TJ. Nice, ain't it? Way, way, like I, snappier. I mean, even right now it's on factory tune, so you know. So think about when we just uh the, just to add in the parts, it made it way more like responsive. Think about when uh, on the next episode we'll take it to Fairable. This thing is gonna open up. I mean, it already did open up, but it's gonna like really open up. Wow, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it does the um, yeah the pops and stuff yeah. and it does like the rev match <laughs> guys with a test drive out of the way we all done with today's video so let's do a quick recap and talk about some of the items that we install on today's video so we started off with two step performance Cadet downpipe and titanium hardwares and also PRL front pipe, titanium turbo inlet pipe and also the huge intercooler upgrades definitely give it an extra punch on this integrated type. As now in the next episode, we will find out what this car make with all this bolt on and also a full tune with Faribault. Now before we do that, we're going to go ahead and send the computer out to Hyundai so they can flash it. You guys don't want to miss, make sure you guys stay in tune on this channel. See the subscribe button, give us a like, and also drop a comment below. My name is Mike, on behalf of Ace Garage. Thanks again for watching. We we'll hope to see all you guys again next week.